Good afternoon guys, it's Jaeger262 and today I'm doing something, well I'm always doing something a little bit different, but this is a new game that I just started playing, it's Magic the Gathering Arena. And I am very new to Magic the Gathering, I've only been playing this for about a week and I just got my first physical deck like four days ago. I don't really know anything about Magic the Gathering in terms of lore or you know just community wise i know there's a rich community it started around the age of trading card games which is essentially what this is um i think in the late 90s mid 90s along with like things like pokemon which is a trading card game i played or play now but i don't actually do any videos on that and so it's actually one of the most interesting fantasy games i've ever played i've massively enjoyed it and i like it so much that i decided i was going to do a video on it and just play through one game online i'm going to be able to play against a bot today just so that way i can win hopefully uh but i'll probably be making more videos of this in the future if you guys are interested in it you can play competitively here they do events like giant monsters up here uh you buy in using the indian currency which is gold you play until you lose three times and you get special prizes and awards. You get a bunch of different missions per day to do and rank up through your gameplay. And so it works like any other game. I haven't really played a lot of trading card games online. So I don't know how this stacks up with other ones. It's kind of my first real one. But massively fun. When you play, you can enter in traditional draft, constructed event, which is... These are just special events, different types. Giant Monsters is the one I just showed you. That's another event. Draft core set, so you have to buy the actual core set for 2020 to play in this one. Essentially, Traditional Constructed, which I almost played a game in, is basically just any cards before 2020. You, If you've been playing this game for a long time, you can enter it that way. There's normal gameplay, traditional play, which is fun the bot match which is how you start ranking up and helps you learn some of the rules of magic the gathering and then traditional ranked which is essentially how you would play it on the table and whereas ranked and play are streamlined for arena and the reason i say it like that i kind of hesitate is because i play both normal play and traditional play and at least in my experience because i'm a novice they didn't seem that different to me. So I'm not really sure if there's a deeper difference there. But for now, I got my deck, Fire and Fury. This is the physical deck I have. Um, in fact, let me go into deck and explain some quick stuff here for anybody who has never played Magic the Gathering before and is watching this. Welcome, you're in the same place I am. But essentially there are five colors. Maybe we should go to my Mastery Tree. Here. Yeah, here it is. There are five colors in Magic the Gathering, which represent the five different types of mana and or energies. And so you have white, which is light, angelic, um, and each color corresponds kind of like energy types in Pokemon, if anybody's played that. So you have white, light, green, which is forest, red, or fire, black, or death, although it's purple everywhere I see it, but it's technically black and then blue water. And each one corresponds to different attributes, which you can kind of see by the box art on these decks. Starting with white, winged victory or angelic stuff, it is a deck that's primarily full of blockers. And I'll get into that during the game. These are characters that block a lot. They soak in a lot of damage. They do a lot of healing that sort of thing and by healing you're just healing your creatures or yourself in the game and i'll explain that a little bit further fire is the opposite they hit hard they attack hard but they have no real defense they're very rapid death comes with a lot of interesting different card types mostly spells or instants to drain opponents not only life pool but also opponents creatures life pools they have some definite attacks not all of them very strong and some interesting different ways to defend not quite like white more like taking um, health 
from cards and giving it to yourself. It's it's an interesting deck. It's one of my favorites. Or interesting energy. Blue or water is for wisdom. These are for players who prefer a more surgical approach to the game. They're very tactical cards. Um, don't really know how to put that a different way, but they provide a lot of good strategies, a lot of work around. So they don't have any strong attack or defense points, but kind of like death, they have a lot of interesting and unique ways to work around opponent's attacks and keep yourself in the game longer. And then forest or green is exactly like fire and fury in the opposite is said of being hard hitting and destructive with no defense. They are heavy on defense and their defensive points, depending on how you play them, can equally hit hard. So they're just basically tanks, the forest cards. And now I'm going to get into just some gameplay and play a little bit about the rules because this is like no other fantasy game that I've played. Sparky is the actual bot that does your orientation. She's great. Um, so how it works, as you'll see here, each player starts with 20 health. And so the purpose of the game is to get your player's health to zero. And the way you protect yourself and attack your opponent is using these creature cards here. So creatures will absorb damage and deal damage to other creatures and to your opponent. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Get ready for some friendly competition. See, she's just great. Alright, so first turn, you can only do this every first turn. You have to pick a land. Land works like energy in Pokemon. I'm going to keep going back to Pokemon because it's the only trading card game I've played. But there are very few similarities. Let's get moving. But once you play a land, each land converts to a mana cost. Mana is these numbers at the top of each card. You need that many mana to activate a card or a spell, so on and so forth. I'm gonna pass. Pass of my turn. For example, I only have two lands here, so I don't have enough to do the Hostile Minotaur or even my fire elemental yet so i will just go next next i'm not going to infuriate anything this is an instant which is a spell that i can use any time of the game and this is a sorcery which i can only use during my turn but they are not actually creatures and i will explain that more when i play one Pass again all right she's going to attack me i have no cards to block with so i'm just going to pass take the attack and so essentially see how I drop to 18 that's how it works so we'll do that back and forth until one of us loses so this is blocking now that I declared a block since the attack is 2 it won't kill me because I have a toughness of 3 but I no, I have an attack of three toughness of two, mm. so I actually will I die, but so will that When she infuriates, she is able to kill my card. Alright, so I have the hostile, which comes with haste. Usually when you put creatures out for the first time, like you just saw, you can't play them right away, that summoning sickness. Which is basically the game's way of saying you have to wait until your next turn. Hey, so, I can see your hand. I'm gonna attack her for three. Even this game out. Anyway, what I was gonna say is haste allows you to use a creature as soon as What she just played was a spell. I don't know which one it was, but I think she killed my creature without actually using the summon the creature. Which is kinda how spells work. I'm doing a really bad job at explaining this game, I realize. But I'm trying, I'm doing my best. Hit her for five. Whoa! 
that's going to leave a mark. It's basically it's a pretty passive game. I mean, it's a trading card game on the computer, so deals five damage to a target creature. I really just like the pacing of the game. I like the fantasy card or the fantasy element. I like card games as well, so it kind of does all that for me. And it's just, it's really fun. I encourage other people to play because it's actually really intuitive for new players. Like I said, I've only been playing this for a lot of years. I'm having great fun with it. Alright, so I'm going to probably, again, win this game. I am playing against the bot. Which, you do get experience for playing against the bot. Because it is designed to help new players learn how to play and train. Which is why I really encourage people to try it out. Because I don't know how new Magic Gathering it is. I just saw stuff about it though a lot the past two weeks, which is why I started playing it. So I don't moving. know if they updated it or something or why there's so much press on it, but Super awesome. I do enjoy it a lot. I'm not actually gonna attack her to finish this game. I'm gonna try and draw it out a little bit longer. I could show you this, which is one of my favorite cards to play because it gives me control of my opponent's monsters and then and that's how you win a game to play again? of Magic the Gathering Arena. So all around really fun, it's just, it's, it's just good fun. It's great fantasy, the cards are really cool, each one of them gets their own little not just here's what the card does, but a little story about them. You just get quotes to go with them. That's cool. It's a, it's just a really fun game. It's fast paced, um, in my opinion. I really, again, I don't know how fast these games are supposed to be, but to me, it feels like a fast paced fantasy game. I absolutely love it. I encourage other people to play Magic: The Gathering Arena, and if you do, look for me. It's Jaeger two sixty two. It's like every other game. There I am. There's my number. Come play some games with me. Absolutely fun. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Magic the Gathering videos, give it a like, a th you know, a thumbs up. It helps me know that you do enjoy it, and I will make more videos in the future, possibly of me playing actual opponents if you want to see it. Um, as always, subscribe to the channel. I don't really know what videos I'm going to be doing next. I don't have anything planned for Armored Warfare or for painting. I should be doing another painting video soon. If you want to get notified when any of those videos come up, or if I do any other Magic the Gathering videos, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.